how many diagonals and triangles can be formed by joining the vertices of the polygon having five sides. So here I already have a polygon with five sides and the question is asking us that how many diagonals and triangles we can make by joining the vertices of this polygon so let's name the vertices so let's say it is a b c d and e so let's see what is a diagonal diagonal is a line by joining the two vertices of a polygon or polygon like shape and the condition to be a diagonal is that those two vertices should not be on the same side so a diagonal is a line by joining the two vertices of a polygon and those two vertices should not be on the same side so it means this is not a polygon this is not a diagonal because the point A and point E they are on the same side but if I join A with D you see now D is on this side and A is on this side or you can say on this side in any case they are on different sides so now if I join them now this black line is a diagonal line so just remember that one the sides are not diagonal either this side this side this side or this side they are not considered as diagonals so question is asking us that how many diagonals we can draw in this shape so just consider this example like you are given five choices i am giving you five choices a b c d and e so you have these five choices and i want you to calculate how many combinations of size 2 you can make out of these choices size of the combination is 2 or i can say how many pairs you can make from these choices why because when you draw a diagonal like this it is joining suppose d out of the given choices you see these vertices are actually your choices so you are join you are joining a with d so it means when you get a combination of size 2 it represents a line between those two vertices right and of course repetition is not allowed so you will never get a combination like a and a because we are of course it's not possible how can you join a with a there is no other choice so it's there is no repetition so you will get all the possible combinations with uh, among these given choices the only difference is that you have to be careful with the definition of the diagonal i told you diagonal is a line by joining the two vertices two vertices of a polygon and those two vertices should not be on the same side it means a and e is not a diagonal similarly e d is not a diagonal c d or d c is not a diagonal so it means you have to because when you will calculate all the possible combinations it will include these choices as well b c so you have to subtract these things just because of the definition of a diagonal and you must also remember why i am using the combination formula so i will use the formula n c p so i want to remind you that a combination doesn't care about the order it means it will only calculate b c suppose it finds a combination bc because size of the combination is 2 so suppose bc then it will never add cb because for a combination bc and cb are same thing so it will never add that one but if on contrary 
you ever do a mistake and you use a formula of a permutation remember the permutation will consider bc and cb as two different pairs but you see in our problem it doesn't matter b c or c b it represents still only one line although we will subtract it later but just see like d a like this line d a or a d the line is still the same right and we want to calculate these lines d a or a d but only once a d and d a are not two different diagonals that's why always remember to use the formula for combination because a combination will never include the reverse pair like if it has included bc then it will never include cb because it thinks these two are the same thing a combination is insensitive to the order of the items in the combination so the formula is ncp and uh, you know that a word a, a diagonal is actually a combination of two of size two among these choices so the total choices are one two three four and five so five c and size of the combination is two because a diagonal joins only two vertices not on the same side equals 10 so it means total number of combinations of size 2 are 10 and remember it includes those combinations like bc and you know that bc is not a diagonal because diagonal is a line when two vertices are joined and those two vertices shouldn't be on the same side so we have to subtract these sides we have five sides so 10 minus 5 equals 5 so we can make five diagonals in for this figure now the next part is how many triangles i can make this one is quite easy so let me go to the other shape here so once again let's name the vertices like we did before a b c d and e so how can i make a triangle suppose i want to make a triangle by joining a with d so just think i made one triangle right here so how did i do that what is a triangle a triangle uh, joins three vertices right with a with e and then e with d and then finally d with a so don't you think it is also a combination but size of the combination is three right suppose in for this triangle i can say that this is actually a combination of a e and d right because a is joined with e e is with d d is with a or a is with d whatever because a combination doesn't care about the order so you can even think it is d e a it doesn't matter because the combination is insensitive to the order and in our case it is the same case so it means a triangle is actually a combination from a combination of the given choices a b c d e and if we get a all the possible combination of size two if a diagonal was a line a line joins only two vertices right so the size of the combination was two now we are want to calculate how many triangles i can form from this figure so a triangle has three vertices right of course so it is a combination of three vertices so if i calculate all the possible combinations of size three those are actually representing triangles which can be formed from that figure so once again formula is same n c p of course number of choices are five c now size of the combination is three i want to know how many 
combinations I can make out of these five choices. Five C and it's equal to 10. It means you can make 10 triangles if you are given a five sided polygon like this. So before I end this lecture, I leave two questions to you. Suppose now the polygon has eight sides or you have a polygon with 12 sides. And if I ask you the same question that how many diagonals you can draw for this polygon or for this polygon, calculate separately for both how many diagonals I can draw for these two shapes separately. And I can also repeat the question the how many triangles we can form from these shape from these shapes separately. I hope you can do it.